The anxiety of the pandemic has made people more vulnerable to being catfished. Life has changed. Yes. Wow. Tuesday, May 4th, Catfish is back. What did I miss? The new normal created new connections. We've never had this many hits. Stranger stories. Yes, I can hear you. And even wilder reveals. So you're a porn star? Well, spring has sprung and the catfish, they are abiding. Obviously, I'm talking about the online dating show Catfish on MTV, which premieres next Tuesday. We're all very excited. So this morning, I've got executive producer and host Neve and, of course, co-host Kemi with me, ready to hunt down a whole new group of elusive online lovers. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, first of all, this show has been around for a while. I mean, what, 2012? Yeah, almost 10 years now. I mean, it all kind of stemmed, Neve, from you, from your own personal catfish story, huh? Yeah, that's right. Uh, in 2006, 2007, uh, I had a relationship online that turned out to be with someone very different than I thought. And the documentary Catfish then came out in 2010. And then since then, people have just been flooding my inbox with, with stories. Uh, either of getting catfish or people who are in relationships who feel they might be getting catfish. And so it's just been nonstop since then trying to help people find out the truth and come to terms with whatever the reality of their situation might be. It's, I mean, it's a twofold. It's got to feel good that you're not the only one that was duped, but also horrible that this <laughs> is such a common thing, right? It is. You know, it's, it's interesting because the specificity of getting catfished is really more a symptom of a lot of other things. Uh, and making the show, while I do feel satisfaction from helping people get answers and, and in many cases get closure, what I've discovered is that the, the, the real root of the issue is that there's a lot of loneliness and, and sadness and insecurity um, and isolation, no matter where you live. Uh, and so I keep making the show and I keep hoping that in helping people express themselves and, and be honest and uh, accept who they are, maybe someday we won't have catfish anymore. But until then, Cammie and I are happy to, to, to keep working. Well, Cammie, I have to ask because the show, since it's been along for, uh, around for so long, it's been a big, I think, voice in pop culture. It's even helped kind of bring the word catfish to the forefront. Do you think social media in and of itself is a version of catfishing, whether people are doing it intentionally or not? Oh, absolutely. I, I like to say everything in life is a catfish. I think that, especially with social media, you look at Instagram, people are only showing their highlight reels. Everyone is showing you know, the best versions of themselves pretty much all the time. And that's why when you come across someone who, you know, posts pictures, you know, with no retouching or, or just says exactly how they feel about certain subjects, you're, you know, more inclined to follow them because we don't see stuff like that as much anymore. The, you know, yeah. the world is so oversaturated with perfection. And um, I, I think that all of that is a form of catfishing in itself. Uh, maybe not on the level of the things that we see on our show, but definitely, you know, a version of it. So why do you think it's so important to tell these stories and showcase this in albeit an entertaining fashion, but still you're hoping to get some questions answered and resolutions here? I think it's important because even though people constantly come up to us and say, how can people still get catfished? It's, you know, it's 2021, everyone has smartphones. But the reality is there are thousands, if not tens of thousands of people, mostly young, but not just young people, who are in many cases teenagers who are just now becoming young adults. They're, they're, they're entering relationships for the first time. They're doing it in a very different way world where it's acceptable to meet someone on the internet or on a dating app just swiping and they may not live in your town or community and they're, they're, they may not go to church with with your family they may not have uh, you know even from a high school nearby they're, they're they could be anywhere and if you think back to mistakes that you've made or boyfriends or girlfriends you had in the past when you're like oh man i can't believe i dated that person yeah. what was i thinking we all done it and now people are doing it but it's virtual so People need to make mistakes. They need to try things. They need to take risks. They, they follow their heart. And unfortunately, sometimes following your heart 
isn't always uh, <laughs> the best way to get what you want. But it can be fun. Yeah. Well, and hey, there's life after being duped, right? Because you've got you've got some exciting news, I think, right, Neve? Yeah. I mean, look, getting I. I I have no shame in saying getting dupes and being gullible was the best thing that ever happened to me. And here I am now, 10 years later, still making this show, and, and I'm married with two kids, and I've got a third on the way, and Yay. life is great. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, getting catfish was the best thing that ever happened. Well, they, <laughs> I hope you don't eat those words eventually. But So we're excited for the premiere. It's premiering this Tuesday, May 4th. You guys, thanks so much for spending time with us this morning. Thank, Thank you. So all right, back to you guys.